Kenichiwa, hope everyone's good. So it's time for a EDC update. So I'll start off with the new knife. So something a bit different. It's Ulfa Craft and Utility Knife. all stainless steel it wants to focus made in Japan it's got a little ring or wheel you undo and you can lock it and you've got a different settings on the blade so you can have it there or wherever you want it, even the very tip. And it comes with replaceable blades, but it doesn't come with replaceable blades. But you can get replaceable blades for it. You can just undo the wheel, pull out the brass pin. And you get a Kuridashi blade. Normally the chisel grind, this one's ground on both ends, but the grind on this end is barely noticeable. It's uh, 1.2 mil thick. It should be easy to sharpen, I haven't sharpened it yet. But uh, providing I don't snap it, should get a lot of use out of that. And the little nut is also reversible. So depending on if you're left or right handed. And obviously you change the blades just as easily as that as well. I like it on the other side though. I'm right handed, I carry it in the left side pocket. I'm going to pull it out to use it so I want the blade straight down. So I can just pull it straight out. Lock it and then I can use it. And that's the... CK2 20 mil wide blade 1.2 mil thick with a 55 mil cutting edge and they do a smaller version as well which I've also got which is the CK1 haven't taken out the package yet but this has got a double blade, 18 mil wide. That's obviously the first time me looking at it. A little bit different. A lot smaller. And stiff. So that's my new EDC knives. 
So have a quick look at those. First look at the now that you got myself there. The black handled one. I really like the black. That's going to look awesome when it wears. But I'm going to be carrying this one for a while. See if the best will last. So that's my new EDC knife. Other new thing. Got a new hank. This one's a gift from Japan. Hand printed in Kyoto. The traditional Japanese wave design, which I think looks cool. So that's the new hank. Still carrying the Leatherman. Wave, nothing's changed with that except I uh, stropped the blade a little bit so it's looking extra mirror polishy. It's got the same problem that they had with the Condor though, where it's got the raised bit. That's all that's changed with that. It's still got the paperweight, which I've just polished as well. And I'm still carrying the phone, which I'm filming with now on the Maxpedition phone holster, which I really like. And the wallet is still the... I get now Fly Industries EDC wallet. And yeah, nothing much has changed. Just got matches, signal mirror, not signal mirror, Fresnel lens. Got a the top snap. Knife for the little fishing kit and a signal mirror and the Swedish Army uh, Light My Fire Ferrisarium Rod. And the lucky 1000 Japanese yen from 1964 celebrating the Tokyo Olympics. And a little boo-boo kit, which surprise, surprise, running low on band-aids again. And just a little smiley face paper clip. And that's all that's in there. Still carrying the Condor uh, pocket organiser. So nothing's really changed with the contents of that. I still got the right in the rain. Got some gone designs if clients want us to change something. And some business cards and fish size limits. Doing a lot more fishing and then clients details, which I can't show. And besides that, still got the Super Pro Mecha 0.5 Mechanical Pencil by Auto Not like this, so I can just turn this and The point's already out So I don't have to keep on clicking this Zebra FMXD
or FXMD for the Fisher Space Pen insert. This camera is having some problems with focusing. And the Zebra PM701, which I haven't used as much as I thought I would. Cap's coming undone a little bit. And the Hyper Eraser Click or Click Eraser, Hyper Eraser, whatever, by Petzl. And just spare. Ink for the mechanical pencil. Keys haven't changed. Got the titanium pry bar, the old Boker Vox design or Vespers or whatever. Phoenix and W20, Uncle Bill the Grippers, and the Olight I1R EOS, and that's the only flashlight. I carry on my person now, and that's my keychain, and just some chewing gum, Wrigley's Spearmint, which is about the only thing from my childhood that hasn't been banned. And I finally got my new self-defense spray, which is Fob Gel. Criminal identifier made in Deutschland. And this is the stuff that sprays you red for a week. Tiny little canister. That's the old one. Label wore off it. It's a bit bigger, and I can still smell this through the can. And this was £22. This was £8. But uh, I think this is much better. For one, I can't smell this through the can, and this smells like rat's ass. So that's that. And when I'm not working, that is my ADC. I switched to the Higo no Kami because. That's legal, and obviously that's got a lock and blade, so I can really carry that for work. And no multi-tool. Some people think because it's a multi-tool, that's a grey area. It's not. Lock and blade is a lock and blade. Can't carry it unless you got a good reason for it. So that is all I carry on my person. I'll go into the bag now.